guys, so today I'm going to be filming a video on how to make your own Starbucks drinks. I did used to work in Starbucks so I do kind of know like the proportions of the drinks and what goes in them. Don't worry Starbucks, I'm not going to be revealing all your secrets. I'm going to be using like different products as to what they use in Starbucks because obviously I don't have all the syrups and stuff at home and these drinks are actually going to be like a healthier version of them. Keep watching if you want to make some healthy Starbucks drinks and honestly they actually taste exactly like the actual ones. Okay so just quickly before we get into the video I forgot to mention that that instead of using just agave you can actually use honey or maple syrup or even just sugar like mixed with water you can use anything um, that's absolutely fine I just use agave because that's what we have and um, it's just a little bit more natural and less sugary than the other options and obviously it's vegan whereas honey isn't okay so I'm gonna start off with the strawberries and cream wrap Okay, so I've just done about 100 grams and I'm making this for one person. Anywhere from 50 to 100 grams per person is a good amount, but I prefer a really strawberry flavored. Like when I worked in Starbucks and I made myself a strawberry and cream wrap, I always put in like an extra pump of the strawberry. So I really like the strawberry flavor. So I'm adding in an extra strawberry. So it looks like about that much. So I've got in five strawberries, two small and three medium. So I'm going to be pouring in 120 milliliters of milk. You can use any milk of your choice. I personally prefer oat milk for these, but we'd run out. So I'm using soya today and it still tastes really like it tastes amazing still. So any milk is absolutely fine. And then you want to fill up a cup of ice. I'm using crushed ice just because it's easier to blend. But if you just have cubes then that's absolutely fine. And you want to measure it in a cup that is the same size as the one that you're going to be pouring the drink into. Or even just measure it in the cup that you're going to be drinking from. Some agave syrup. And then we're going to blend it. Okay, and then I leave a little bit of space at the top because I'm going to put some cream in them. And now I'm going to move on to the coffee or mocha wrap. So I'm just going to put in about that much milk. I'm going to get a little jug and put two teaspoons of coffee in there. Maybe like one and a half-ish probably is better. And then add a little bit of cold water to this. So I've just added the cold water. And then I'm gonna take some agave syrup. So just put in like a tiny little square of that. And then if you wanted just a plain coffee wrap, then you would just blend this as it is like this. But I'm actually making this one into a mocha. So I'm just taking Cadbury's. This is actually vegan. It does say it may contain traces of milk, so it kind of depends on how strict you are with that but it doesn't actually have any milk in it. And I just put two teaspoons of that in. There's the mocha. Okay, so I've got a bonus drink for you here. This isn't actually a drink that is made at Starbucks, but I used to make it on my breaks. Um, so I'm gonna be making a banana frap. So it's pretty much exactly the same as the strawberry, but banana instead. I actually used to bring bananas into work and <laughs> make them into a wrap. Um, so good. I don't know why it's not on the menu. I honestly, I told them so many times, I was like, you should speak to Starbucks management and tell them to put this on the menu. Because honestly, so good. And then again, you could put in a fair amount of agave in this one as well. And then banana. Oh my goodness, that is delicious. Oh my goodness, if you like banana flavored things like banana milkshakes and stuff, make this. <laughs> There's the banana one. All right, so for the last drink, I've just got a cup of cubed ice. Uh, this is gonna be for an iced latte. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little jug again and some coffee. I'm gonna put in again about one and a bit spoons. It depends how strong you like it. This does make it like fairly strong. I often use 
two spoons of coffee in a nice latte, but for the person who's having this probably won't want two spoons. So I think one and a half is like a good amount for them. So I'll go and add a bit of water to that. Okay, and then mix that together. If you wanted to make it into a mocha, then you would add the hot chocolate powder into this as well, but use um, water from the kettle instead of just cold water because the coffee can dissolve in cold water, but the drinking chocolate will dissolve a lot better in warm water and it just melts the ice a little bit but it still goes cold because when I first started making them at home I used hot water it just means that the ice melts a little bit earlier and then take your choice of milk I love a coconut milk iced latte with the agave syrup but if you're doing it with coconut milk then use less agave syrup just because it is already pretty sweet um, but this is for my dad and he will definitely have soya So just add the milk in up to there. And then for lattes, you put the coffee in afterwards. There you go. And then what you can do is take a straw and mix it together. Okay, and then I personally would put agave syrup into a nice latte, but I'm gonna let my dad try it before I add agave syrup because I he doesn't normally like things sweetened, so I'll let him try it before I add any. Okay, so I've just taken two more strawberries and cut the top off and then cut them in half. I'm sorry, I thought I was recording when I did that. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take some vegan squirty cream. On the mocha one, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot chocolate powder. And then the reason now that I took two strawberry ones is because I forgot to save a little bit of banana to put on the top, so my banana one is getting strawberry decorations. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy these drinks. Definitely send me a picture on Instagram if you do recreate them because I'd love to see how you guys do it and hopefully you remember to top the banana one with banana. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. Do let me know if you want a hot drinks version of this or any other cold drinks that you want me to make for you. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. Make sure you hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye!